right. So we uh, watered the plant nice and thoroughly. Uh, now we're left. I let it let the water kind of drip off the leaves a little bit, and now we're left with doing any trimming we want to do. So I think depending on where I put this in the sun, the leaves will kind of change some of their angles. Because right now, or in the pot, I've had it sort of half under the under the carport, so a lot of the leaves have turned a certain way to, to hit sunlight. Um, but these things do very well in full sun and uh, most of the ones I've seen driving around are in full sun under little to no shade. So um, I'll definitely be keeping this thing out in the sun. And so um, now I just kind of have to figure out what I want to do with as far as trimming. Now if you look at this really long branch, I mean it's kind of cool, but honestly I don't, I don't think it's going to... Uh, it's going to benefit the look of the tree, especially as it starts growing. It's going to be, get bigger and start to droop more. And so, as a, you know, me being new to bonsai, I still have the <laughs> the uh, reluctancy to cut off big branches. But I, I also understand that it's going to help the look of the tree overall. So, uh, but first thing I'm going to do is just chop off some of the dead stuff. So, there's a dead piece here. here. I need to get some better trimmers, but these will do for now. Another dead piece. So I'm just trying to clear up the clear up the spaces. Another dead piece there. Quite a few. So this at one point must have been quite a bit uh, bush here, but that is okay because I loved how it looked when I got it. So you can see here, these were the, where the flowers were. It had a few flowers on it when I bought it, but um, again, I think it's towards the end of the growing season. I don't, I, don't, I don't really think it's going to flower anymore, although it's been staying really hot here in uh, California, so who knows. But So I think what I'll do is I'll start by cutting it back to here and just seeing how I like it. Looks pretty cool, actually. So what I might be able to do in the future, I probably won't wire this today, but I might, what I might do in the future is maybe I could use this branch to wire it out like this and create a pad um, maybe going off to off to the side there so I think that would actually look pretty cool so I'm going to leave that and maybe I'll try to uh, maybe I'll try to stick this in the ground and see if it grows you know it's worth a try and then as far as foliage goes I don't want to trim it too much but I do want to see some of that branch structure in there so what I'll do is take my littler snippers that I got um, from my wife and, uh, and, and cut some of these branches that are hanging down some of these little, little, uh, you know, little twigs and branches that are hanging down so I can see some of that some of that trunk structure Yeah, a lot of the times in bonsai, at least from what I've learned, is you want to have a lot of the branches be level, and some of the, a lot of the videos I've watched, they do wiring and whatnot to, to get them to sprawl out like this or angle down a little bit, rather than stick in all which directions, which makes it look like a smaller plant when it's that way, but when you, you know, when you make these pads, you make these layers and levels, then it really gives it that big tree look. I'll probably cut this guy. It's a little bit big for what I'm going for. This one. So I don't know if you can tell, but I've now decided I don't I don't know what's the front anymore. <laughs> uh, I guess I should make that decision. But you know what? I think. I think I have made the decision. I think I like. I think I like this being the front. Um, 
Well, maybe not. I don't know. Now this this big branch here, this all this foliage right here is connected to this smaller branch that, that splits off from here. And uh, this tree might actually benefit from cutting that whole branch off. I don't really want to do it, but you know what? We're all learning here. I think I might just do it. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm not going to cut the whole thing off. I'm going to cut it off to right here so that I can keep some of this, but clear up some of this pad here, this top area. So let's see how this will look. Okay. Give it a little bit more breathing room in the tree. Now, when I look at it, um, still a little bit of clutter going on up here so what I'll do is try to create some space maybe cut this guy off or these downward facing branches And again, a lot of these leaves are going to change direction. They're all kind of angling towards the camera right now, but uh, when I get it when I get it in full sun, it should they should uh, straighten back out and aim upwards. Um, and uh, I don't know if you saw my first video, but I definitely talked about how I was a beginner. So if any of you have any tips for me or ideas of what this thing could be, that would be great if you want to share those. Um, for now, I think I like how this looks. I might do a little bit more trimming, and I'll definitely do another update video of this in a little while, but I'm really digging this already, so I think I'll do a little bit more trimming and then just let it, let it do some growing on its own and uh, let you guys know how it turns out. Thank you. done for the day and uh, I went ahead and trimmed off a little bit more from the top um, it was I found some longer branches that I just didn't think looked good so I gave it a little bit more of a an apex or a rounded apex and trimmed off a little bit more back here and um, yeah we uh, I, I still haven't decided what's the front or the back but I think as the tree grows it'll become more clear hopefully and um, you know, I'll do an update video on this guy a little bit down the way, hope, you know, assuming that he's still alive. And, uh, but yeah, this is a true poor man's bonsai. This is uh, $3, again, for the plant. And the pot, I was guessing earlier, but I think it's between $7 and $10 is what I spent on it. So we're looking at roughly um, $10 to $15 for this whole setup. The dirt, virtually nothing. The wire, a little bit of wire and the mesh, virtually nothing. So, yeah, we're looking at about, yeah. I'll say $10 $15 for this whole setup. I'm super happy with that. It looks good to me. I like how it looks. I like the price, of course. And yeah, this was exciting. Thanks for watching with me. And I'll keep you posted. We'll do some more videos really soon. Thanks so much for watching uh, this episode of Poor Man's Bonsai. Until next time, keep being poor. No, don't be poor. Keep buying poor bonsai. Keep. Alright, see ya.